have just got to love blue eyes. <laughs> My blue eyes. Not only did he give me one set, but he got me two. <laughs> I love my blue eyes. Mm. I just had to show them. Yes, I'm missing Texas, and Texas, our flower is yellow rose of Texas, right? Right, James? <laughs> so, he got me some, some roses. So sweet. And while I'm here, I want to answer a question. Uh, this uh, person, her name is Emma, and she told me I could mention her name, and she's asked me to talk about um, <sighs> weight. And um, in the letter that she sent me, she talks about how she's only got 21 more pounds, and that she feels confused because, you know, she's just like, is that too thin for me? Is that not too thin? I mean, where do, where did I stop? And where do, where do I feel comfortable? Or, or where am I going to find maintenance, you know? Uh, I've been dealing with this for nine years, Emma. And I will be putting her link down below. She, she doesn't make videos all the time, but she does make videos. And, um, you know, you got to be comfortable at your weight. You have to know where your body is going to be feel sta stabilized. But I will tell you this. Um, for me, my weight uh, fluctuates from year to year. I remember mm, maybe, I want to say about three years ago, I went to Dallas. I, go, I try and go see my family once a year. I, my girls live in Dallas, and my sister, everybody lives in Dallas except me. I'm in California. And uh, I went to Dallas, and I, I, I was just not chesty. I mean, I don't want to be vulgar either. I just, I didn't have any <laughs> chest. And uh, my sister says, man, you lost a lot of your boobs. And the following year, I go, and my weight has redistributed. Doesn't mean that I gained weight. It means that my weight was distributing itself, and I got busty again. Now, does that happen to everybody? No, not necessarily. Uh, I don't know what happened, really. Uh, one minute, I'm flat-chested almost, not. No, I don't think I'll ever be. I was rolling my, my boobs up in my, <laughs> in my bra. <laughs> uh, and then all of a sudden, I didn't have that. Uh, my weight distributed itself, and it will happen. Some people, that phenomenon happens. At least it did for me. What I've always said is I want to get to a weight where I'm not struggling putting on my clothes. That means I want to stay comfortable in the size that I'm happy at. What size are you feeling happy at? Are you happy at a size 6? At, at a size 10? At a size 12? At a size 18? What number does that make, do, do you feel comfortable at? Now you're asking me the question. I, you know, I, I can't give you a you know, a doctor's advice, but you can, you've asked me, and I can tell you, honestly, as long as my clothes, uh, I'm basically a size small, medium on top, and I'm a larger size on the bottom. Why? Because I have a curvy shape. I am a short person also. So, my number on the scale, let me put these down, my number on the scale, uh, is 165, 168, but yet I see other people that say that they're that number and they're taller. <laughs> so being tall helps your body, I guess, to, I don't know, they just look a lot skinnier than me. Um, not that I'm skinny. You know what I mean. Um, so I would, I would challenge you to find where you're comfortable at. Are you comfortable in your clothes? 
uh, are you happy when you see yourself in the mirror and go, man, I can do so much more now. And look at I can wear so much more now. Um, the lumps and bumps and things that happen when you lose weight. Uh, hello. <laughs> are you, these are my trophies, you know. I've had people stop me while I'm shopping and ask me how much have I lost. Why? Because they see it in my arms. Um, so I, I've always said they're my trophies. Uh, do I want my hips to be smaller? I mean, I would love just the fact that I don't have saddlebags. I would love for that to be gone. But, you know, that's just something that I wish doesn't mean it's going to happen. Uh, okay, so be comfortable wherever, you know, if you if you want to lose 21 more pounds, that's fine. But if you feel like that's too thin for you, it's really a personal thing. It is. It's, it's, it's personal, you know. Um, I have people that say, Rosemary, you're tiny. And I look at them like, is there something wrong with you? There ain't nothing tiny about me other than I'm short. But... Hey, Blue Eyes likes me just the way I am. I gotta love me the way I am. I have to embrace me. These curves that my family gave me, you know, I'm always talking about this is my family genes. All of the women in my family had big hips. So guess what? Connie and I are gonna have big hips, <laughs> big legs. Elephant knees, because that's just how we were all built. Those are my family jeans that I'm wearing. All right, guys. I'll see you when I see you. I hope I answered the question for you, Emma. I love you. And uh, maybe I didn't answer the question correctly or the way you wanted to hear it. But I challenge you to embrace you. Where do you feel comfortable? And remember, a weight is just that. A number. A size is just that. A number. This is me. When you come talk to me, you're talking to me. <laughs> you ain't talking to, to a number, right? You're not talking to uh, 165 pounds. You're talking to Rosemary that has flesh and blood and a heart. That's who I'd be talking to. Emma, I'd be talking to you. Where do you feel comfortable? All right, hope I answered the question. I love you, and I just had to show you my husband. He's a sweetheart. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> hey, guys. I'll see you when I see you.